Easy guys, I'm Mephisto, and this is my character, Guide Fisto. <laughs> See what I did there? Yeah, yeah, yeah? Nah, maybe not. But anyway, there's some pop uh, text popping up on your screen now, so take a moment to read that, and I'm just basically going to show you everything you need to know, all the way up to level 10. I'm going to look at abilities and uh, rotations, and basically bring it all together before you get to level 10, where you can actually get into that point where you... Uh, spending your skill points. So at, th at that point you should know exactly what you need to do and I this is my skill trainer. Come Anybody back in a second. So here's uh, Zinni, your bounty hunter trainer on Hutter. You saw how to get there but not quite as slick as Guide Fist I and that's what I want to talk about. Bring out the character screen C and uh, you see these two little drop down menus at the bottom. Let's have a look at those quickly because um, a lot of players play through the game and they won't actually experiment with these. These way you get your stats and how well you're doing uh, what you're stacking. So the tech one is interesting because a lot of players will play through the game and not actually understand what tech is. <laughs> uh, we'll come back to that. I mean I do want to tell you about that but not at this point. So but anyway you can pick between the three. There's, you know you can put ranged then I could put PvP. So I've got the two specs down there. But let's move on to the actual attributes. Strength you will not need. It's uh, increases your aptitude in melee combat. Yeah, you're about to on there. You're ranged. Sod it. Um, presence, good for your companion's effectiveness. But aim, way. <laughs> aim is everything for a bounty hunter. This is the spec and the attribute that you're going to be investing in all the time. Uh, aim, endurance as well. Uh, cunning is for Imperial Agents, sod that. Endurance, yes, we'll have some of that when necessary or when the opportunity arises. But always, always aim. Look at that range of damage bonus, range critical chance. Sorry, that's front off. Tech damage bonus and tech critical chance. I'm going to come back to those techs uh, and expertise. You'll pick that up a lot later on. This is PvP, it's gear related. And... Um, you won't need that right at the moment. But yeah, looking at your character, or Guide Fisto, ooh, uh, the Relic, and Relic, you'll get these up later as well. I've got some Dataquan guys which will cover that as well, and some other guides. Wrists and implants, uh, wrists you'll pick up at some point. Implants and ear, ear is craftable by Cybertex and implants biochem now if i think if you're starting off in this game i'd go biochem if you're into pve because you get a lot of decent buffs a lot of heals 60 minute buffs as well oh yeah so i'm going to move on to the skill tree now and show you what's up hey guys um so i'm going to assume that you kind of know which spec you're going to go with advanced uh, class or whether it's the merc or the power tech so i'm going to skip past that just to say that if you prefer playing a ranged player uh, or would like to heal then go for a merc if you were prefer tanking or a bit more close proximity combat with a bit more mobility go with the power tech so I'm going to move straight on to the moves you'll get in your bounty hunter at level 1 um, everyone uh, will get the hunter's boom which is a 60 minute buff which increases your enjoyers by 5 seconds I'll just refresh that quick there you go, and the sprint, uh, which you want to keep these both these up at all times. Uh, the other moves you'll get is the um, rapid shots, which is your generic move, takes out a lot of damage, does no heat. I'll talk about that in a bit second. And the missile blast, which um, is just a missile which uh, it fires from range, uh, generates 25 heat. Uh, let's talk about the heat quickly. Um, you'll build heat as a bounty hunter, rather than uh, this bar will go up down here, rather than going down, which will happen for other classes. So as you're making moves, this is going up. Um, if you see the missile blast, it's 25 heat. You've got a total of 100 there. That'll go up to quarter heat. Uh, these little, uh, this little bar here, with the um, with the arrows, that basically shows you how quickly your uh, heat is dissipating. So the more of these you get, the faster you're losing heat. As you generate heat, these will go down. And if you hover over there, it says uh, heat level zero. Um, heat dissipation fast, uh, so you do five heat per second as you as you create heat. Uh, this will actually it'll get, it'll decrease. So that's uh, basically the dissipation and how the mechanics of the heat works. Um, so I'm going to move straight on and get into the. Um, I'll do show all to show you all the uh, moves you get. Um, so at level two, you'll get your rocket punch, which is a 
which is a range of 4 meters so it's a melee move it does 16 heat and it's good um, it was a great move for power techs later on um, power tech, pyrotech and at level 3 you'll get your unload which is a ranged move for 30 meters uh, it does 16 heats on a cooldown of 15 seconds and what you want to hear here is uh, weak and standard enemies caught in the blast fire are stunned for the duration uh, this is a channeled move so um, with the stun uh, you'll get a move later on which is the rail shot which um, is only usable against incapacitated targets and uh, targets suffering from periodic damage so this unload which stuns um, it's a bit tricky but you can actually cut this off short with a rail shot and take advantage of that stun even though it's only up during the duration of this the combustible gas cylinder um, you'll get three three different combustible gas cylinders depending on which advanced class you go um, the Merc and the Powertech both share this one combustible gas cylinder at level 4 so this is what you're going to be using um, pretty much up to level 12 actually I think you, you won't be actually be able to have any other option so learn how to use this I'm going to show you in the combat after this little section here uh, how to keep that up at all times uh, it says all your load your blaster effects and uh, with a 10% chance to deal elemental dot damage for 6 seconds um, this is activated by um, your blaster effects which is um, at this point your rapid shots and your unload, uh, that would be the only ways that you can unlock this and um, get this burning on your target, I'll show you that later Missile Blast, this is just an upgrade on the Missile Blast which we talked about there, you'll be playing around with this on your way to your skill trader anyway, you'll know what that does and the Explosive Dart level 5 is a sticky bomb, sticky grenade which um, will just attach to your target and detonate her at a later date uh, for big mobs, because it's an AoE, it's good um, if you have a melee uh, within the group you're attacking then I've slipped this on a static ranged character when the melee com uh, target runs towards you hit him back with your missile blast back into the range of this AOE so you can play around with that see how it all works if you go pyrotech uh, you'll get the thermal detonator when you complete your spec uh, which will, is on the same cooldown as this so it's one or the other it's the explosive dart or the thermal detonator if you're pyrotech. Rail shot, talked a little bit about that, but this is one of your main moves. Learn how to use it quickly. Um, if you go pyrotech again, I'm concentrating on that because that's that's what I'm good at. That's what I specialise in, and it's it's mainly a, a pyrotech move. And so is the rocket punch. Cause the rocket punch will get a 60% chance to unlock a free rail shot and make it cost no heat. So refreshing the cooldown with no cost. Flamethrow is good, it's a cone effect in front of you, it burns down a lot of damage and it's an AoE so play it around with that as well. Then, depending on what spec you go through advanced class this will be useful or not so useful. Determination at level 9 is your trinket move, I'm not going to waste any time on that at all, you know about that. Death from above is a, is a brilliant move, I'm just going to show you this in my combat as well soon and um, it, you place it on the ground and basically mother chuckers will go flying everywhere, there's explosions and uh, heads spinning off, all sorts of stuff so it's a great move, try it out at level 10 and um, they've actually reduced the area effect of this recently in 1.2 but it's still good so yeah that's the moves you're getting basically let's talk a bit about your heat dissipation in these two moves here you've got the recharge and reload which is for dropping venting heat out of combat and restoring your health so yeah you'll, you'll, you'll get used to that keep these on these two on uh, easy accessible key not something that you have to use all the time but you want to know where they are and pop them quickly now vent heat vents 50 heat over 3 seconds so we talked about how when you build heat um, the higher it gets up in this bar, the um, slower it's going to be dissipating down over time. So, I'd, uh, when you get up to a point where it's becoming, it's, bec it's hindering you, I'd pop this. But remember that it takes three seconds to dissipate this heat. So don't immediately jump back into a missile blast which does 25 heat. You're just going to completely negate the effect of this move. Instead, I would go with a rapid shots. But you're dropping heat so uh, as you're three seconds it's going down you're using a move that isn't generating heat which further loses more heat it, it's it's simple but it's amazing how players don't do that I see it in the videos they use it and just think it's game on but it isn't make sure you use that good effect you can use a channeled move like unload as well it only does 16 heat because it's channeled you're not building up extra heat on top of that so yeah I think that's pretty much it at this point um, 
I'm going to show you some combat now. I'm going to talk about how to keep this uh, combustible gas cylinder up on your target. Um, you will get the other cylinders for Merc at level 12 and level 14, but for Powertech you'll get your second and third cylinders at level 14 and level 20. So if you're going Powertech, um, I would definitely suggest to go all the way up to level, at least level 20 at spec into the Pyrotech tree, uh, basically because it maximises your damage and your output and your effectiveness because you get that early combustible gas cylinder. Um, using the um, shield cylinder which you get at level 14 for a pyrotech um, it's not going to be effective the black talon and the hammer station tanking is is pretty pretty non-existent they're easy and all the you know, won't be much need for a tank up to level 20 really so i would go pyrotech until at least you get enough skill points to make tanking worthwhile which will be around about 20 and you'll also unlock your advanced prototype cylinder at level 20. So I'm going to show you uh, some combat right now and then I'm going to slip on to my level 50 and I promised to talk to you through that tech so I'm going to have a look at that and talk about these moves again which are getting a level 1 to 10 and how tech relates to them and other stuff so cheers and watch on. Aha, so um, this is the combat section and uh, I'm level 18 on this start first part of this video. I've actually moved some abilities around so I'm just using 1 to 10 abilities. I'm going to start off with death from above. This is always a good opener when you've got a, when you've got a bit of time. And then straight into the un, uh, rapid shots which is already unlocking my combustible gas cylinder. You'll see that right there. It says burning tech. Uh, this part of the video is just going to be about how to maximize that keep it up as much as you can uh, I'm going to lay in a few extra moves from 1 to 10 uh, a couple of rockets and uh, an occasional rocket punch uh, but keep an eye down on the vicious lean um, enemy toolbar on the top right of my mid toolbar and there you go you'll see it right there that's the um, that's what you're looking for the burning tech so um, I'm just gonna a bit more damage on this guy and then I'm going to switch to the other guy and show you how to maximize to keep this up most of the time. I'm going to aim to keep this burn effect up on my targets all, most of the, the majority of the time. So I'm going to lay down a uh, sticky dart there and then move on to my next target. Starting off with rapid shots you can see it already burning away there. Learn, learn this animation down in their bottom right up on the target uh, it's coming to the end so I'm laying down the unload to try and refresh it just as it goes down and there you go so it's, it's getting down low so you lay it unload keep it up and just maximize the, that burn effect on your target I'm going to move back and lay a rocket punch to finish that boy off and then move back onto this geezer here immediately putting up my CGC again on the target so you can keep this up usually around 80% of the time just by using rapid shots and unload and that's the point of this part of the video maximize it use it learn that learn that symbol you can see it already burning away now down just above on the vicious screen so yeah that is that is what you're aiming for and uh, I'm just going to show you a bigger boss here and I'm going to start again with the um, death from above go straight into a rail shot and then go straight for uh, get my burn tech up on them, there you go and then lay down some missiles, a rocket punch back onto the uh, uh, rapid shots to try and get it up again doesn't always work, it's a 10% chance at this point but it's up again now so that, that's that's what you're aiming for, keep up as much as you can it um, opens up your, your rail shot etc and uh, this is some PvP I've done, this is at level 14 um, I'm going to grab this this uh, damage buff or expertise buff and then this is a different style I'm using I'm going straight in with a uh, electro dart stun because I'm a level 14 this target's level 49 I'm not going to use my combustible gas in the I'm going to burn him down quickly with my specials and using my um, vent heat just to keep my heat under management I could have I could have used my CGC, but I knew that there was two targets I had to take down, so I thought I'd burn one down very very quickly. Use my vent heat, <coughs> use my rocket punch to move around this target. You'll see me jumping over and slipping a rocket punch to move around. Get my combustible gas cylinder up on him now, and then back away, slip into my energy shield, and try and make tracks. I was a bit unfortunate to have an extra two players on me then. Uh, but taking down two players is quite easy with uh, power tech if you know what you're doing and that's what I'm trying to show you now 
maximizing all your moves it's great so this is another style you can use this is using 1 to 10 abilities again I'm going to be using my uh, missile blast and my death from above basically to defend a turret which is under fire you can see there's five targets here and they're starting to cap Alderaan so there you go that interrupts them with an AoE and then again straight in with my death from above moving in around the target to pick these players out that are hiding behind the turret and then laying down a flame burst and a rocket punch on each target just to buy a few seconds, valuable seconds which is brilliant for the pyrotech because you've got that versatility to make those AOE moves and stuff like that so I'm going to show you some level 50 footage now and fill you in with any other points so did that make any sense? probably not I'm just going to recap quickly for you um, the first part of that combat video was to uh, express the need for CGC combustible gas cylinder and how to activate it with your rapid shots and your unload um, you'll see in the second part where I was at uh, level 14 uh, against the level 49 and uh, level 16 or something I can't remember but um, the idea of that was to show that although there are moves later on which you can spec into in the pyrotech on the power tech uh, that can unlock your cgc uh, these ones you'll want to be able to fall back on and learn and be able to swip into easily because they generate less heat and uh, my flame burst was uh, unlocking my combustible gas cylinder but it was also generating 15 heat every pop and it's an instant move so i was building a lot of heat and that's why i used my vent heat very quickly because i knew i needed to burn him down quickly and I needed to get the fight out of the way so that I could move on to the second target at which point I knew it was going to be a slightly easier fight and I could slip back into my conventional CGC and other moves so yeah that was the idea of that, there's two different styles you can use, well there's a lot of styles you can use and that was a couple of them um, and then the last part of that video I showed you how to use um, a bit easier, you get from 1 to 10 effectively in a war zone and uh, when a, when a good time is to use them, using your AoEs and stuff like that, just maximising bringing it all together uh, to make you a better player. So um, this will take some time to get used to. Um, I've been playing this game for, anyway, I started in beta, so I've got about three months in before the game launched, so I've been playing the Bounty Hunter a long time. Um, but start off how you really go off and start level 1 and get get the basics down and then as you get more moves later on it won't become something so confusing so hopefully I'm bringing you up to speed on the 1 to 10 moves um, you can muck around with them now go out there, try them out, uh, spend some time and uh, de definitely take a look at how your heat management goes and once you've mastered that you're 30% you know, there um, it's brilliant so getting your combustible gas cylinder up uh, effectively without generating heat and maximizing your heat heat, heat management is a, is, a, is a big part of bounty on and it's what a lot of level 50 players will struggle with uh, I've seen on certain videos so these are pearls of wisdom which I'm going to give you so just try and use them a little bit Shh. Um, what else do you need to know? rotation use let's have tricks. a quick look, look at, at that for level that 1 to 10 show what quickly I want to get this over quickly um, if you're starting from range you want to start you start off maybe using moves that are on like a cooldown a long cooldown like your unload is great we talked it brings out your CGC occasionally and uh, it puts a stun on on PV targets so you can start off with this um, and also your death from above is a long range move which is on a one minute cooldown so the sooner you get these popped and on their cooldowns the better you can move on to other moves which might be more effective but get them out of the way. Uh, your explosive dart also on a 15 second cooldown you can pop this earlier, it's staggered, it will delay reaction burst damage so um, you can pop maybe your explosive dart first, move into unload, get your CGC up there you go, uh, this will activate your rail shot at this point your uh, explosive dart should be just about going off so you're hitting rail shot and explosive dart, bang and then but you're putting your target, especially in PvP, into a state of panic where they're just sort of they don't know what's hit them basically um, you'll be running in at this point so you can go in with a rocket punch uh, and then maybe back into some rapid shots because you're going to build up a lot of heat in that quick burst um, then you can go in either with a um, flamethrower and uh, or a missile blast and um, depending on what your heat's doing use event heat back into rapid shots back into unload and just mix it up and just keep that rotation going because um, you saw from those videos you, you can go full on burst 
take them down. Um, but you've got to make sure that you finish the job, otherwise you're just going to be stuck hanging with uh, a lot of heat and not being able to do much apart from rapid shots. Uh, so yeah, yeah, that's a quick little rundown of the thing, but uh, over 1 to 10, it's, it doesn't really matter what you're playing uh, in your rotation, just get used to it, but bear these ideas in mind, um, because when you get into your advanced classes, it will make a big difference. Um, yeah, something to think about. That gear, um, recap it of my uh, earlier on, like I said aim and endurance for bounty hunters. Aim your primary stat, endurance your secondary stat, that's all, that's, that's it. Bottom line, end of story move on. That's all you want to get. Don't worry about anything else. Don't worry strength or that blah, 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 solid. So um, yeah that sort of gear. You don't have to worry about collecting gear. Just move through these. Get your rotation down. Get your moves down because when you get to level 10 you get your advanced class. You'll get a gear bag which will allow class most of the stuff you get on here. Hutter or your Coraband or wherever you're starting anyway. Um, yeah you'll, then you'll get access to uh, the Black Talon uh, around about level 10 when you get to the fleet um, that was you can run that a couple of times it's a bit of fun gives you a lot of XP and some good loot and something to bear in mind as well is if you get some good loot from the black town at level 10 when you go into a war zone it basically buffs your stats as a percentage of what you're wearing so if you're into PvP obviously you've got to keep up with your gear um, set research and the good gear I'm not going to go into all that but for PvE it doesn't weigh so, so much and you've got your companion and stuff like that so I'm not going to do any spoilers there either. So I'm going to slip over to my level 50 and I promised you some tech advice so I'm going to do that and then maybe talk a little bit about the crafting and then we're done. You can go out there, check it all out and I'll be posting another guide probably later on to cover the advanced power tech class. Aha! So um I'm going to try and wrap this up quickly because um, I could talk for hours about the power tech and I've already been talking for far too long. So let's have a quick look at the crafting and abilities for you at level 10 or when you get to the Imperial Fleet. Um, I would recommend either going for Biochem which gives you uh, the ability to craft implants and uh, or uh, the Cyber Tech which uh, gives you abilities to craft earpieces. Uh, these ones are going to be a little bit harder to get and you can get decent augments and open up augment slots for them which is always nice um, you could go for armor tech and stuff like that but I would recommend these especially as a new player biochem is pretty sick and I'm going to show you what I have right now uh, I'm a biochem and um, these are some of the Wicata stims and adrenals that I've been crafting and they're not consumed on use so if you look at my stats over here um, on my tech and my uh, ranged, uh, what you're going to be looking at is this one here is a uh, 15 second crit. So you're looking at the crit here, these two bars here. I'm just going to pop that. Bam! So that's back up there. And then I can pop my 120 minute aim. So you're looking at aim up here, up to 1382, and that also increases all your stats. So um, there's. Um, two nice stims which you can have up pretty much all the time I mean th these two are 15 seconds you can get power or crit or you can mix there's all sorts of stuff all sorts of stuff wow and relics also as well which you can get so just pop that as well actually so you know you could you, you, there's a lot of opportunities with the biochem to enhance your stats I mean if you're going for pvp you'll get um, you'll get adrenals which counteract these basically but this 120 minute buff here is sick um, just to be able to have that on constant use, it's an extra buff because it does. It's not consumed on use, so that's always nice. And the cyber tech is gets obviously the earpieces, but it also gets the grenades, which are on a little bit of a cooldown. Um, but it gives you an extra move. They have different uh, different abilities and uh, not abilities, but different effects. So there's some stuns, all sorts of stuff. So these are going to add to your combat prowess, uh, which uh, especially for if you're going for a damage class, is pretty sick. Yeah, that's a bit of craft in there. I mean, I, that's what I'd start off with if you're not familiar with the game. Um, roll an ult and go into some of the other ones, uh, but these ones are actually benefit you straight away. Um, so, I forgot to talk about the tech quickly, didn't I? Oh, God. Um, here's the tech, and uh, what you basically 
let's look at the aim quick it says it does increases tech damage bonus and tech critical chance so what exactly is tech well you can see here that it's giving me lots of stats about tech I've got critical marvel, critical chance, accuracy accuracy very quickly um, up until 100% it's basically how accurate, how accurate you are hitting a target once you progress past 100% that's when you're starting to break down targets defenses so blocks and uh, getting through guards and blocks and all that sort of stuff anything over 100% is working towards that um, as a bounty owner I don't tend to stack this too much it's quite costly um, in gear related and, and what you're specking into so yeah, it's it's nice to have a lot of accuracy, but I think that'd be more for snipers and stuff like that. Um, it's 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 not worth it for me. But the crit chance and all that sort of malarkey. We'll have a quick look at that. And the whole point of it is to um, basically look at your um, your abilities. So let's have a quick look at the bounty hunter. Now you won't get this available until you've learnt them, but the one to ten moves which I wanted to talk to you about. Um, I'm going to show you how tech is very important for a bounty hunter, especially at low levels, and what we've been working with, because we've been learning how to use the one to ten abilities, and you'll get you'll keep these abilities, although you'll be building on them in your advanced classes. This is the core of the bounty hunter class. So, combustible gas cylinder. That's uh, well, let's, let's just say all cylinders are tech. Nice. Death of above. That's your level ten one. Tech. Uh, moving down. Explosive dart, that was the delayed uh, sticky bomb almost, that's a tech. Flamethrower, right. tech. So <laughs> you can see these are all these are all the moves you're getting before level ten. Sick. Uh what else you got? Missile blast, tech. Um rocket punch, tech. Shoulder slams like a tech ability which you'll get later on for PvE mainly, but that's cool. So you can see how the abilities you we've been working on are actually the tech abilities. And as you see when you go to power tech, um, although there's not as many, if you scroll down it quick, you look at everyone this right hand side. I'm showing you gas cylinders that doesn't really count. They're main they're mainly not tech. So it's the bounty on the moves which are the tech. So bear that in mind when you're starting out. And that is why it's so important to use these moves which I've been talking about. Um, because, yes, you can have your ranged over here, but you've got a whole other tree with tech, which is increased by your aim. So make sure you use, you're use using these tech abilities, because actually you get an extra... Let's have a look. Aim. So, uh, I can't show you, but on, on level 1, you get an extra 10 or 11% um, to your crit. And, so, and that's why this is showing accuracy... Um, and the crit chance is actually higher, <laughs> you know. So you, you actually get an, an extra boosters about it. Let's see your tech. So make sure you're using these. Um, flame burst. This is the main one for power tech. Is a tech move, and it's an instant move which you're going to be using all the time. It's like the uh, advanced prototypes retractable blade. It's your main move. Um, you're going to spec a lot into this. In, into your. I'll uh, show you that very quickly. Whoosh. Um, I've got no points in this because I've transferred server and I haven't played this for probably since 1.2 but this character um, so I'll just show you this one quickly prototype cylinders in the advanced prototype uh, this increases the effect of your gas cylinders while they're active that's all your gas cylinders in power tech um, the Merc I imagine will get something like that but um, the combustible gas cylinder one we've been talking about increases the tech critical hit chance by 3% so once I spec into that let's get rid of that quickly uh, my crit chance is going to be up to 31.24%, which is going to be much higher than my critical hit chance. And then I can pop these. And then my crit chance is up to 37. Plus that, that's going to be 40% crit chance. I mean, that's pretty sick, isn't it? So bear in mind these moves I've been talking you through. Um, they're brilliant. Flame burst, you're going to get all sorts of stuff. I could talk for hours on this. I get so excited. Um, but you know, your flame burst has a 33% chance to trigger your combustible gas cylinder if active, and that's a tech move to trigger a tech move. Which and then your rocket punch, tech move, rocket punch. Uh, these are things you're getting early on, and then um, I'm not going to go into that because I'll just get lost and I'll lose you. But I've got a guide, um, a level 50 guide, which um, kind of talks a bit about this. It's a bit of an extended one like this, so I'm going to leave it right now before I get caught up in this. But that is the idea of tech. Um, 
Just look at the moves. Look at the tech moves. It's a sick move. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to link you a quick video to a level 10 hub pool now to show you how you can maximize all this at a low level and still be awesome. And stand. And I, I want you to, if you do watch it, I want you to try and figure out what I'm doing and uh, making good use of what I've been talking about because it, it will help you understand it all. And yeah, come back for the next guide. It will be a power tech guide, I imagine, on advanced prototype. This sort of, this sort of style and this sort of ideas, building on it. Cheers, boys. Thanks for coming. And uh, check out, um, if you're interested in the Merc, use YouTube as a source and check out similar guides like that for that. I don't want to sweat you to be a power tech. That's not the idea, but that's what I'm about. So cheers, boys. Thanks for coming. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it was useful. Easy.